Okay, I've got to admit that the summers of my youth, well, they were spent watching a lot of television. And one of my absolute favorite shows was Batman, starring Adam West, Burt Ward, and this guy, Alan Napier, as Batman's loyal butler and faithful friend, Alfred Pennyworth. And when we weren't watching TV, me and my friends could often be found running around the neighborhood pretending to be superheroes. Fortunately for me, in addition to the homemade Batman cape my mom made me, I also had my Batman Halloween costume ready to go. Unfortunately for me, for whatever reason, maybe it was because it seemed like I was everybody's third best friend. Yep, we actually ranked them out way back then. I was not often given the opportunity to be everyone's first choice. Instead, it would seem that more often than not, I got to be this guy, good old Alfred the Butler. I would get to do exciting things like pretend to answer the bat phone, usher Master Bruce and his ward away from Aunt Harriet, and maybe, just maybe if I was lucky, I could hang out a bit with pretend Batman and pretend Robin in our pretend bat cave while we figured out what to do next. Quite frankly, I would have preferred to have been the villain, but that was most often relegated to another kid a little higher on the friendship chart. By the way, this dynamic played out in a similar fashion when we played Star Trek. Yep, guess who got to be Chief Engineer Montgomery Scott? Speaking of Star Trek, have you ever noticed that in 99% of the scenes with Scotty on that show, James Doohan's right hand is semi-obscured by his other hand, or even more frequently an object? It turns out he was missing a finger. I don't know the story behind when, where, or how it happened. But it does seem like with a little research, that might make for an interesting video somewhere down the road. But let's get back to Alfred. It turns out that he was a pretty cool feller. And quite frankly, there were a ton of things that I learned by watching and emulating Alan Napier's version of the character. Napier himself has said that when he was approached about joining the Batman TV show, he knew nothing about the character of Alfred. He'd never read a Batman comic book. But he was keenly interested in the promise of steady work, and the money seemed to be pretty decent, so he jumped at the idea. In fact, he was the first person cast for the show. And of course, the rest is television history. Sure, on many an occasion, Alfred could be found in the Batcave serving light snacks to our weary heroes. But during that amazing TV show, and yes, it was a wonderful, astonishing, and simply amazing television program to a young man of my age, Alfred... Well, he got to battle super villains like the Joker. Somewhere during the third season, he even got a smooch from Batgirl. Lucky, lucky man. And wouldn't you know it, he even found himself donning the cape and the cowl, fooling all of Gotham, helping to conceal Bruce Wayne's true identity. Yes, Alfred became the Batman. And as I got older, I realized that I'd learned quite a bit by watching Alan Napier on the tiny screen. His Alfred taught me the value of lifting and supporting others. His Alfred taught me that loyalty and kindness were traits that should be highly prized. And his Alfred taught me that regardless of who people think you are, where they try to place you in the pecking order of life, you can be more, way more. You can even drive the freaking Batmobile. Chew on that one for a moment, my friends. Yet Mr. Pennyworth actually found himself behind the driver's seat of the world's greatest vehicle. Sorry, kid. And if that ain't enough proof that you can be whoever, whatever you want to be, well, I don't know what is. And it would seem that Hollywood has realized the same thing as well. The show Pennyworth, currently on Epix, tells the backstory of a young Alfred Pennyworth. And let me just say that it is a very different version of the man who will eventually become the Wayne family's most trusted ally. It is a completely different take on good old Alfred, patterned more after the Michael Caine version and other versions of our favorite butler than Mr. Napier's. It's a dangerous and extremely violent world that this Alfred operates in, but it's also an extremely interesting, albeit very mature, take on the character. Getting back to Alan Napier, it's worth pointing out that his career was a lengthy one. For most of it, he was a character actor in both movies and television. He did? However, prior to Batman, take front and center is Sherlock Holmes in a televised version of Doyle's Legendary Sleuth. If you're interested in learning more about this very dignified 
and very resilient actor, you might want to check out his autobiography that was released posthumously just a few years ago. So that's it. One more picture. Again, Alfred's right there in the thick of things. If I remember correctly, that golden truck can only mean that the nefarious King Tut is on the loose once again. Anyway, please share your memories in the comments section. While you're at it, I would love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my little channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.